The Holy Family is holy primarily because God's favor is upon them. But they received God's grace and lived by it. And this is another aspect of their holiness. Let us look at Mary. The angel announced to her that God had chosen her to be the mother of his son, and we marvel at her fiat. But we should not overlook the angel's news that her elderly cousin likewise found favor with God. So Mary set out in haste to meet Elizabeth in her home in Judah. In the visitation, she showed she was a true handmaid of the Lord by proclaiming the good news in her Magnificat and serving her elderly cousin. The grace she received inspired Mary to share and serve. Now, Joseph. Oh, we are amazed at how he always acted on God's word, even in the most difficult of situations. The moment he awoke, Joseph took Mary as his wife, as the angel had instructed in his dream. Joseph believed and followed the word proclaimed to him. With faith as his armor, he was able to protect his family. In the Gospels, we see not only the devotion of Joseph and Mary, but also their humility. As a human being like us, Jesus must have acquired humility from the example and teaching of his parents. Following his parents' humble yet active stance before God's grace and calling, Jesus grew in discernment of and commitment to his mission. Jesus manifested his humility when he prayed to God when the time has come for his passion. Jesus lived by his prayer and let the will of his Father be done. He is truly the Savior sent by God. Friends, may the Holy Family inspire us to live our faith every day.